So you have battery three and battery four, but you can't access your kits here in the library tab with battery four. Now we can of course come to files and go through our file system and access kits and samples that way. But I'd like to access my battery three kits via the library tab and right here in the browser. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import our battery three kits into battery four. All right, so let's get started. Now this is very, very easy. First, we can come up here to tools and choose batch resave or come to our little drop down and go to tools and choose batch resave. Now when you choose batch resave, you're going to get an alert telling you that once we do this, now we're going to break the compatibility with our battery three library from battery three. So if you're going to do this and you want to use battery three, make sure you back up or make a copy of this battery three library folder. Here you can create another folder, name it something different and just copy the contents that way. Maybe put it on a different hard drive, whatever you want to do. If you want to use battery three, I don't want to use battery three any longer being that I'm a Pro 12 user and battery three is not AX64 bit. So this is fine for me. I'm going to proceed. I'm just going to overwrite my battery three library. If worse comes to worse and I actually need battery three, to work with the battery three library all i have to do is reinstall the library really easy so just be aware of that we'll go ahead and continue now we're going to choose our location which for me will be in my native instruments folder in the battery three library just the main folder okay now it's going to go through a process where it checks for missing samples this may take a little bit and now that we are at over 50 percent now you can see it's resaving our kids so again let's go back to waiting all right, so now we are done. That process took about eight, 10 minutes. And now we need to come to our files tab here, and locate our battery three library. Just click right on it and then come down here and select import. Click okay. And now we're just going to have to wait a little bit. All right, so now we should be done. Now we can come back to library and then we can come here to the user tab. And my favorite kit from battery three is the Armageddon kit. So I'll we'll load that up. All right, there we go. I love that kit. Could not do it without it for effects, scoring things, stuff like that. All right, so that's it for this video. Before you do this, again, make sure you make a backup of your battery three library if you're going to continue using battery three. Also, you'll need battery version 4.2.1 before you do this. And also after you do that battery save process, you'll be able to access your battery three kits within the machine two library browser as well. So that's it for this video on how to import your battery three kits into battery four. Just go through those steps and come over here to your user tab. You're good to go.